Hey guys, what up? This is me, Dato of Alex, and today I have really exciting tutorial. I want to share with you guys how I create this amazing lens flare effects in my video. Now, before continuing watching this tutorial, you will need one plugin, which is Sapphire plugins, in order to create this lens flare effects inside your Vegas Pro 17. So I have my video clip uh, pretty much loaded up in my timeline, and I've graded as the one I want it to be. And the way you add the lens flare effect is just simply go to your video effects tab and under Sapphire lighting folder you want to uh, use the uh, effect called as glint so I already uh, create my own custom preset called the lens flare so whenever I have my footage in my timeline I just simply drag and drop the lens flare into my footage and straight away I already have my uh, lens flare look in the video so uh, by default Obviously, you guys won't have the uh, lens flare preset, so let's just remove it and let's add the default one into the footage. So this is how it looks like by default and this is the settings that you want to basically put inside the as glint and then you can save it for your future use. So for the brightness, we want to uh, put it around 1.6. And then for the trestle, you want to put it at 0 0.870. Oops. Okay, once you've done that, you want to put a trestle blur only 0.01%. And the size of the flares will be 170. Once you've done that, you want to go to the size details. And you want to tone down the Y, uh, the size of Y, which is the horizontal value, to zero. And you want to put the diagonal one and diagonal two all the way down to zero as well. Now, size red, green, and blue is pretty much the color of the flares. I like my flares to be blue, so basically, I tone down the red uh, around 350. Oops, that's the wrong one. 350. And the size of grain is 0 0.9. And again, I like my flares to be blue. I pumped it up to blue around 2.6. Uh, Alright. Once you've done that, you can go to the next one. The blur glint, uh, just leave it at 0. The hue shift, you want to bring it down all the way to negative 1. <clears throat> for, the, uh, for the glint from alpha, is pretty much control the uh, the intensity of the flare so you want to put it around 0 0.510 uh, and then the glint under source you want to put it around 0 0.570 there you go so once you uh, apply the setting you can rename the effect to flares tutorial Alright, I'm going to custom save my effect here and save it. So whenever time you want to add the lens flare, you just simply drag and drop it into your footage. Now you can also um, customize the flares depending on the clip. Let's just say it's too much. You can reduce the brightness, maybe increase the trestle. You can basically customize the flares depending on your clip. So if you have any question related, you can just leave it down in the comment section and see you guys on my next tutorial.